Okay guys, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to edit the footer of your website, which is pretty simple to do. Well, once you know how to do it, it's pretty simple to do. So right now, as you can see, we've got 2017 Ethan powered by Beaver Builder. And the aim of the game, I guess, is to get rid of where it says powered by Beaver Builder. Now, there are two ways in which you can do this. The first way is you can go into Customize. And you can go to Footer, the Footer Layout, and you can add your text here. Now the problem with this is that you can't put anything dynamic in here. So where it was saying before, let's log out of that, where it was saying before 2017, that 2017 is powered by PHP. So PHP is, is letting us know what the year is and when it gets to 2018, it's gonna change automatically. Now you don't need to know any PHP to change this and you don't need to really know too much HTML to change this either. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to change it very easily using a plugin. So first, let's go to the dashboard, go to plugins, add new, and we're gonna add a plugin called FTP. And this plugin basically allows us to look at all the files that um, we need to view Okay, this is the plugin we're gonna use, File Manager. So when you go to install it, just install File Manager. It's usually this one or this one down here is what I use. Okay, you can activate this. And what this does is it gives us access to the files. So if I go to WP File Manager, I can now look at my WP content folder, etc. etc. So what we need to do here is click on WP content and then click on themes and we're using the child theme, but we need to actually go into the BB theme itself. So let's click there. Next we need to go into a folder called includes. And the one that we need to update is the one that says copyright, okay? But this is how we're gonna do it. We are going to select this and we're going to select copy, okay? So the whole includes folder, going to right click and select copy. And then if we go back to themes, we're gonna go into the BB, theme child and we're going to paste that in there okay now this is why it's a good idea to have a child theme because you get to do all these ugly customizations and when the actual BB theme needs to be updated your customizations will not be overwritten so now we can edit what that text says so if we go into includes and we um, edit this file could see here we have got some PHP and some HTML if you don't know any PHP or HTML it's perfectly fine some of it is pretty self-explanatory just by looking at it um, but here what we're going to do is we're going to change where it says powered by okay so I'm going to put here Diane Laidlaw and I'm just going to put in a random link in here where it says href and in between the curly brackets so there's one bracket here uh, uh, and quotation sorry not brackets quotation mark here and a quotation mark oops over here so between this section is where I'm going to paste in the new URL if you are a affiliate of Beaver Builder you can put your affiliate link down there if you want to but it wouldn't really make any sense because I'm not trying to say Beaver Builder did it, I'm trying to say I did it. So, oops. what we wanna do is also get rid of this title. Um, so I'm just gonna call it Dime Nathal as well. Okay, so now we can save and close that. 
And now when we look at the website, we should have my name down here as well. You see powered by that. Now we can do other things as well. So we can like add extra text if we need to. This is in a span um, for the credit. So in between where it says span here and span down here, we could put a space after the closing A tag and we can add whatever text we want. If we press save and close, come back over here and refresh. You could see it's added the text here too. Now the good thing about this is, is that when we do come over to the customize section and we click on footer, if we decided that we don't want this to be in the middle, but we want a two column footer, what happens is that text still stays there. So I can have this side with the normal text and this side we can just either use social icons or text or a menu or whatever we choose. Also, one more thing before we go, make sure that you delete and deactivate this plugin from your website because it is a massive security risk to leave something like that on. So anytime you use any form of file manager on your site, always make sure that you delete it as soon as you finished with it. So that is it. That is how you customize your footer in Beaver Builder.